there was always a pull to do something. I think there was always something I was going to do. I don't think I was ever destined to sit behind a desk because that just isn't me. Yeah, that's about as good of an introduction as you're going to get. <laughs> I'm Mike Bird. I've been wrestling for 18 years and I'm from a little town in South Wales called Newport. Yeah, I've, uh, I've been wrestling longer than I've not been wrestling. So that's, that's a statistic to think about, isn't it? I was never going to get a normal job. I played rugby from the age of eight and did that into my early 20s to a very high level. I think I have a wrestling style which you could term lack of style. <laughs> so nothing I do is going to be pretty. But it is rugged. If I can't pull you in and snap something, I will change how I attack and I will drill you into the floor. If you've got a leg that I can pick, I'll pick it. If I can't pick your leg, I'll snap your arm. If I can't get that, I'm going to crank your neck. If none of that is working, I will just drill you in the mouth. Whatever works, I will get. I was gifted the name Flying Right Bird because of how I used to wrestle. I used to fly all over the place. I'm still that same person. It's just I'm a bit older. I'm a bit wiser. I'm a bit nastier. But, I want to win. There was a lack of credible coaching in my area. I understood what people should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing. I absolutely love coaching. The list of people that I've coached and where they've gone, what they've done, it's a pretty damn good list. In the team, we've managed to assemble. It's a real mixed bag. <laughs> All of them are fantastic wrestlers, but there are some students that will just push it as close to the line as possible. And I think they know who they are. There was a point in time when wrestling was my life and it was, it was what consumed me. You miss funerals, you miss weddings. You miss so much time because you are consumed by this one thing. Wrestling isn't my life anymore. Wrestling gives me life. I've got a beautiful two-year-old girl waiting at home for me. I've got my amazing adoring at the half waiting at home looking after her, running this business. I live for those two women in my life now. This is something that we work at together to drive forward the next class of great wrestlers in this country. This class has the most potential that I've ever seen from a wrestling class that I've brought through. As a wrestler here, I'm just looking for competition. There are a lot of lads that have the potential to go all the way. And if they want to go all the way, they got to beat me there first. So, boys, I hope you've got your working boots on, because I certainly do.